Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Crushable. I'm your co-host Brian. I'm not a beer expert, but whenever I wear this shirt, people ask me if I like to party. This week's episode, I'm going to call it the Cheap Beer Showcase. It's Friday night, it's America, you just got paid, and you got a Crispy Jackson to get some beers for the weekend. You might even have a Crispy Abe to go along with them. You gotta get the most chuck for your buck. Now I'm talking about the beer of the people. Something you can go down to your beer distributor, your local bar, grab a sixer, anywhere that they sell beer is where you're going. Now think about your audience here. You're not gonna hand your Uncle Bill a Sheets Strawberry Milkshake IPA because he's gonna take a sip and go, what is that shit? No. You're going to hand him a crispy Coors Light or something just like it. And he's going to grab it. Mmm. And say, how many more of them you got? Well, that's the kind of beer we're talking about. I've asked Drew to pick a couple, I think four, of his favorite cheap beers that he likes. I've picked two that I like to have on hand at any, any given time. And I picked two that, you know, have some sentimental value for me. So we're going to round them up. We're going to have a taste test and we're going to discuss and deliberate what is the cheapest beer you can buy that's not half bad. We'll see you there. Woo! Hey everyone, welcome to Crushable. I'm Drew, not a beer expert, but I'm willing to take the test. And as you can see, we are filming on location in the Borch Brew House. That's right, on location, Herndon, Virginia. Alright, so what are we doing today? Today we're doing the Cheap Beer Showcase. Uh, today is Friday. Crushable is filmed on a Friday. Oh, oh yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. Today I got paid. Woo! So did I. Sweet! So, as I noted, you've got some money in your bank. At least 10 bucks. At least 10 bucks. Uh, and this is the stuff that you wouldn't go to Aslan and buy a four-pack because it's expensive. Uh, but you would just go buy as much beer as you possibly could for, you know, a reasonable dollar amount. Yeah, I based my selections that if I couldn't get a beer for a dollar at the 12 to 18 pack level, it wasn't coming today. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you're my guest. Uh, what's your first choice? <laughs> oh, yeah. Wrapped in ice. Whew, nothing beats it. Hot day beer. Bud Light Lime. I'm going to pour him a nice pour in his glass. I was going to offer you the bottle opener, but... Uh, yeah, it's a clear, twist off. Need a... Yeah, cheap beer, twist off. Okay. Cheers. I'm drinking straight from the bottle. Happy Friday. Mm -hmm. It's so bad, it's good. I feel like if you put lime in most beers, they're drinkable. I agree. Yeah. The fruit, just... com the fruit comes pre-built in this beer. Hmm. All Go right. ahead for the beer. Okay. So what you got? My first selection. And this is one that has a little bit of story Woo. behind it. Old Milwaukee. I got a drill that's nice and red. Oh, that's Milwaukee. That's Milwaukee, yeah. Uh, uh, my wife's father has a house on the uh, Junietta River in Pennsylvania. And we would sit there on his back porch in front of the river and drink till, this, uh, till we couldn't do it anymore. <laughs> It's not awful. I mean, it tastes like the Bud Light Lime without the lime. Yeah. We it's, would, it's, it's actually not that bad. We would drink these so much that you would fill up a 50-gallon trash can full of mm -hmm. beer, beer cans. Crush them, throw them in the can. And if you didn't do this, take off the thing <laughs> and throw it in the can. Because he says there's as much aluminum in the tab as there is in the whole can, which I think is a wife's tale. So... In the comments, prove me wrong. So, what if you just crushed them? What was the tab? Why did you have to separate it? They collect the tabs for some odd reason. Oh, okay. Kids with illnesses, I think. Mm. Mm. My stepmom would do that. Yeah. It's, really, it's that really not so bad. All right. I'm behind. That's okay. Sorry, lots of ice. Had to keep them frosty. 
All right. Uh, oh, next up, it's associated with Maryland, but it ain't Maryland anymore. It's Wisconsin, right? <sighs> yeah, or something. It might even be brewed in Ohio, but National Bohemian Natty Bo for us Balmer people. Balmer. Uh, nice <clears throat> lager, lager beer. keep getting worse the beers i feel like um th this doesn't have as much flavor as the old milwaukee i feel like yeah you almost have to be doing something to drink this beer like eating crabs or sweating your ass off at a baseball game yeah or at a baseball game yeah to to really enjoy a natty bow uh it's more of the the name at this point than the taste uh unfortunately um i i retried most of these beers the other night and determined that I don't like them as much as I thought I did. Because <laughs> we're bona fide beer connoisseurs at this point. Yeah, but there's still some cheap options I enjoy. Yeah. All right. So my next one is uh, one that you might be familiar with from my childhood. We grew up together. Oh, yeah. My dad sat in our garage and drank Bush beer and Oof. smoked Marlboro Reds. Bush. Bush. Advertising works on me. Yep, the flannel guy. I really like the flannel guy. <laughs> uh, that's one of my childhood memories. Is my dad crushing these in the garage and it just smelling of stale beer cans and cigarettes. So enjoy. Mm. Now, you can find this beer. It's going to be bad. You can find this beer wherever there's a, a welcome race fan sign. <laughs> I don't know. I feel it's like not... it needs. Feel like it needs to be colder. Yeah. <laughs> to to mute some of the flavors. Well, this one was in the freezer, so I don't know. Whoa, oh. it's so bad. And that just think there's a bush light if you want to save calories. We'll save that one for later. <laughs> <laughs> yep. If we had a bucket, it might go in the bucket. Nah. These these all serve a a purpose. All right. Ah. Oh, yeah. So, Yingling, Yingling Lager. Yingling Lager. We did the Yingling Golden Pilsner a couple... Oh, oh we might uh -oh. need it. We do need the uh, F-bomb. Uh, F-bomb. Oh, gosh. They're going down much tougher. Yeah. This is another one that I didn't didn't enjoy as much this, the other night. But so, we'll see. This is actually a go-to beer of mine. I like to keep this in stock because my father-in-law graduated from Old Milwaukee up to um, to Yingling. Um, he gets really upset. Oh. When I don't. Yeah, he gets really upset when I don't have any Yingling in stock. I like to keep this in stock as well because it's a nice, just generic lager. But you're gonna say something really mean right now about Yingling. I if I had found Moose House at the right price point, it would have came instead. Moose had. Moosehead, yeah, Moosehead, yeah. not Moose House. Moose House. Moosehead is way worse than this. You think? Yeah. Oh, no. Quickly, Batman, to total one. Yeah. And pull out the Moosehead. Oh, no. I, uh, <laughs> I am I'm all out of Moosehead. Ugh. Yeah, I'm way behind here. All right, number three for me, my third choice was Narragansett Lager. I feel like it's almost cheating. It's like a real beer. Almost, but I bought this for $1.99 at my local Giant Man. because whenever I go in there, for some odd reason, I like to pick one of these bad boys up because I treat myself. It's a big boy. Yeah, fill me up. I feel like um, you could have one of these at Washington Socks at Fenway Park. <sighs> bad Boston accent right there. Yeah, you know, you going to pour that beer for me there? You know, park the car at the yard. Have, have it yard. Yeah. We're doing that, huh? How about them apples? I got her number. That's a good beer, right? Yeah, but like... The problem is we've ruined our taste buds with this pig swill over here. You know, it, it, I would always say it's like a cross between the Old Milwaukee and the the Yingling. So like, the it has like... 
and I don't want to call it a bitterness. It's almost like a sourness. Like the yingling has a sourness, and it's a little bit prevalent in the Narragansett, but not in the Old Milwaukee. So we are gonna be full after this challenge. Yeah, and not drunk. Full. <laughs> oh, great minds think alike. I also went. Can't get it out of here because it's too nice. Lodge and in charge on our last beer. My last beer. If you're going to go drink natural light, you might as well drink not 24, but 25 <laughs> fluid ounces. The big one. Wait, is it honest to God? Oh, yeah, look at that. A look at finger taller. <laughs> yeah. Sneaking that extra inch in on here. You know, my heart goes out to all the maintenance men that work in beer factories across America yeah. because they have to retool a 25 ounce can. Screw you, Metal Light, or Natural Light. Although, uh, I don't know where I was, but I was definitely in a bar, mm. and they had Natural Lights for like a dollar. And I'm like, set me up one, because uh, I'm ready for the pain. The worst part is we have to finish all these beers tonight. We're doing this for you, Crushable Nation. It's Honestly, water. it just goes down. It's it, water. It's, yeah. My neighbor drinks a 12-pack of these every day. He's skinny as a rail. Yeah. They call him horse. He's like 56. He's a bricklayer. He lives off this stuff. But does he lay the brick straight? Depends on which natural light we're on. One through six? Hell yeah. In fact, <laughs> in fact they get a little straighter. Three through six, because the hands stop shaking. That's called <laughs> the sweet spot. Yeah. No, oh, I had a tile mechanic who used to go drink his lunch. He was a lot better after lunch. I remember him. Yeah, Kenny. 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 Yes. Cheers to Kenny. <laughs> oh, no. You must me. I almost cheered with an empty glass. Hmm. You think he's dead right now? Probably. Oh. All right, last one. Woof. Last choice of mine. Tecate. Oh. So, you know, I got called out because when I did our Mexican beer episode, I didn't include Tecate. Hey. Mm. Good, good one. I like to take this in the Jeep when we go to the beach. Um, they come in these 16-ounce pint cans, uh, four-pack. Find them at my local 7-Eleven, Giant, wherever. Always, always handy. Good for after yard work, cutting the grass. Um, very good one. Yeah, it's got a little bit more flavor than the natural light. I did, however, do a little beer economics. I'm going to give you the 12 ounce beer price. Yeah. So if you were to buy these beers per can, how are we doing? Food? Are we going single can, six pack, 12, 24, 30? The, the economics change. <laughs> yeah. As you yeah, they different do. Sizes. So I'm just going to calculate a. 12 ounce can price. So okay. the cheapest, I'm sorry, the most expensive beer per 12 ounce is Tecate. Really? Over the Narragansett? At $1.39 <sighs> $1. Nine. for an equivalent. I, I feel like it's worth it. Third place, Narragansett, at about $1. five for. Also worth it. Yep, also worth it. Um, now here's where I messed up. I had to buy a 12 pack of this yeah. because I couldn't find it. There was one case of this in Northern Virginia. <laughs> That comes in about 96 cents a 12 ounce can. I and feel like that's worth it. Bush, I bought a 30 pack today, total wine, comes in about 64 cents a can. Not worth so, it. Not <laughs> worth it. Pig, pig swill. Yeah. Sorry, NASCAR Nation. So I didn't do the math on mine, but I will tell you that. This the is Bush, the cheapest beer on the face of the planet. Oh, yeah, and it's definitely worth it at its price. Uh, if you're trying to play beer pong all night or flip cup, just natural light. I mean, nobody's going to be offended. Um, and these are, these are more expensive than these two. And I always don't think this is worth it. This is worth it. This isn't. So these are, these are the two that I think are worth it at their price point. Yeah. If you're going. These cheap. are my, yeah. my worth it, uh, things here. I would say that uh, too. These, if they have them in the fridge, I'm going to drink them. If. I'm not gonna buy these myself. No, no. And, and you don't bucket a dollar beer. You you spend a dollar on it. Like, 
This is know. working man's yeah. beer, right? Yeah, we, no. We earn every dollar we get. Yeah, I need you to bring the bucket with me. So, I'm going to mix it up for you. Uh-oh. Ooh, we got goblets. I got goblets. These I will call the chalice, chalices of cheap. Okay. So if you choose one beer of the eight, which you would fill your chalice of cheap with, which one would you do it with? Uh, I don't know if I can fill it anymore because I drank most of it. Uh, I, put the can or bottle on the You know, chalice. you know, this pains me, but but like lime. Just it just hits a spot for me. Yeah. For me, I'm gonna go Tecate. Because it's a Taco Tuesday beer. It's a beach beer, it's a yard work beer, it's available everywhere. Yeah. That's my choice. We have a lot of cleanup to do. Yeah. Any other uh, wise words on on cheap beer? Buy buy in bulk, obviously. Comment, like, subscribe, and as always. Clean up your trash, be nice to each other, and drink responsibly. Drink for Tim, drink beer.